Welcome to another video. This is part one of a three-part Winter Wonderland road trip series throughout the Eastern Sierras. We have seven days to explore and are so excited to share with you our experiences to help you plan your trip. For part one, we are in the Jewel of the Sierras, otherwise known as Lake Tahoe. With about two days to explore, we'll show you four adventurous things to do during the winter time. But first, driving up from Southern California, we stop by June Lake to have some lunch and to stretch our legs. So this is a road trip lunch idea, super easy. Tortillas just always taste so good on the road. So just grab a tortilla. This is shredded rotisserie chicken we got yesterday. Kick in buffalo sauce, or it can be any kind of buffalo sauce. And then lettuce. So I had this in the fridge, so I decided to just use this instead. So what you're gonna do is just add those three ingredients in your little tortilla and you have a little burrito with views. Yay, we made it! Checked into the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> While I was <laughs> And then came out for our first hike. It's almost sunset, so we came out to Cave Rock. Never actually got to do the hike. It looks like we're gonna have a really nice sunset, so I'm super excited. So Cave Rock's supposed to be a point a pretty easy round trip hike. It takes you to a very high point, and you're supposed to have like these sweeping views of Lake Tahoe and all the mountains. So you do have to climb up these rocks. It's not too bad, but there's definitely some incline. Just go slow if you're scared of heights, but look, the sunset's coming in. So that's the main road where you can go through the cave. This is Cave Rock right here. I see people up there. But yeah, if you drive through the Nevada side of Tahoe, that's a ton of way over there. point but we didn't go there we found our own little spot here pretty so it's really cold but we just don't notice it right now because my breath is like I can see it <laughs> and my fingers are freezing oh, yeah. The second winter activity to do is snowshoeing. This was a first time for the both of us, so we rented some snowshoes from Village Ski Loft in Incline Village. This feels weird, yeah, feel but they're very light. You have to walk along. Whoa, dude, we right here is so pretty. So so far, snowshoeing is not too bad. It's kind of just like walking. But I mean, I guess the snow's like not that deep here. But the thing about this trail, it's not really well marked. So right now we're just kind of following our all trails GPS map. But I mean, from the things we've been reading, there are multiple ways to get there. So it's not like you're gonna get lost. Someone left birdseed. <gasps> I saw one right there, look, look, look. Did it take anything? Yeah. It took it all? No, it took one. Cheeseburger. Chicka dee dee. Chicka dee dee. No, my hand, brother.
some pretty nice views of the lake from here. Um, towards the end, to get to the top here, there is some incline, but it's really short and just take it slow. Definitely isn't a walk in the park, but it's, it's short, so it's very doable. But now these lake views behind me. Took the snowshoes off to take a little break. Check out these views. to check out when in Lake Tahoe is Secret Cove. This is a popular spot to visit any time of the year, but it is a clothing optional beach. The parking lot was closed when we went, so we parked at the side of the road and walked down the trail. It is a little steep, but you will soon see a sparkling cove with turquoise water. This spot is very special, especially for the locals, so please remember to practice leave no trace and pack out whatever you bring in. So we are near Secret Cove right now. The actual beach, Secret Cove, is actually a nude beach. But if you still want to see this amazing scenery, you can take the main trailhead, stick right, and you'll see these small little coves here that look pretty much the same, but it's way more secluded. And you probably won't see any nude people here. up there well it's the highest ski resort in tahoe it's like 10,000 something feet it goes up to so of course when you're all the way up there you see the entire lake up there so that's really cool because you're one of the trails you're what's it called ridge line ridge, ridge you, run if you do ridge run then you're literally snowboarding down while seeing views of the lake so that's so cool you trails 
trails. Or the runs. Maybe not trails, but the system is a little different than what we expected. So, yeah, there, there was a lot of flat, like, it was very, I felt like it was very skier oriented. So if you're boarding, you might need to have a lot of momentum, a lot of speed, or yeah. you might need to take off your back foot and pedal a little bit. Push. Yeah, I'll never do the roundabout run unless you're like really good because that's where I got stuck a lot. And even the system to like come back down. So we, oh, we yeah. were in the California Lodge, uh, but even like coming down, like it's either you do the roundabout trail, which is really slow and long and flat, or you ride gun barrel. Like you ride a lift back down, which is kind of weird, but I guess it's a thing I haven't now we are heading to Mammoth where we're planning to stay for about the next three days. There's supposed to be like a little storm coming in, so not exactly sure what we're gonna do. The original plan was to snowboard in Mammoth, but then we snowboarded here in Tahoe instead because the weather was just gonna be better. Um, but yeah, let's see what the rest of our trip has in store for us. Good enough for you.